So I know that choosing the right hosting provider can feel overwhelming with so many options out there. If you've narrowed it down to Bluehost, Hostinger, and GoDaddy, you're definitely already on the right track. These are three of the most popular hosting providers, but which one is the best fit for you? Let's break it down. When it comes to ease of use, Bluehost definitely stands out. It's incredibly beginner friendly with an intuitive dashboard and a one-click WordPress installation feature that's amazing. Hosting, on the other hand, is a solid choice for those who are on a budget. It offers some of the most competitive pricing in the industry while still providing reliable performance. And GoDaddy sits somewhere in between with a balance of ease of use and affordability, but it's often geared more towards small business owners who might also need domain registration and additional services. Pricing is always a big factor. Hostinger is the most budget friendly with the plan starting as low as $1.99 per month for shared hosting. Bluehost basic plan starts at $2.95 per month, which is a great deal considering the free domain name and SSL certificate included in for the first year. GoDaddy starts at $5.99 per month for its shared hosting, and while the pricing isn't the cheapest, it's reasonable considering the added features like email hosting and marketing tools. Performance is another crucial factor. Bluehost offers a 99.9% .9 uptime guarantee and has consistent speeds, making it a really reliable choice. Hostinger also has excellent performance, and its custom-built control panel, H-Panel, is a really unique feature that many users appreciate. GoDaddy is reliable, but sometimes can lag in performance compared to the other two, especially on its lower tier plans. And now customer support can make or break your experience with the hosting provider, and Bluehost shines with their 24-7 support via phone, live chat, and email, and their agents are well-trained to handle both beginner and advanced questions. Stinger also offers 24-7 live chat, though some users find the response time slightly slower. GoDaddy provides phone and chat support, but it's not as consistent, and some users actually report longer wait times. So which one should you choose? This is what I would say. If you're new to building a website and you want a user-friendly, all-in-one solution, I'd say Bluehost is a fantastic choice. You can get your hosting for just $1.99 for the first year instead of the intro rate of $2.95 per month. And now, if you're on a tight budget but you still want great performance, I would say Hostinger is the way to go. And if you're a small business owner who needs additional services like email hosting and marketing tools, GoDaddy might be your best bet. So let me know what you guys think and who you decide to ultimately go with. You'll also find hosting discount coupons for Hostinger and GoDaddy on my website's coupon page that will also be found in the link in the description. And don't forget to subscribe for more reviews and comparisons. And if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll catch you in the next video. See ya.